In this video, I'm going to show you how to save a toolpath and convert it to something that the CNC can read, that you can send it over. We've already created our file. We've got our toolpaths right here in our toolpath list. So I need to exit out of the preview toolpaths. And with my toolpath selected, I will click on Save Toolpaths. There's a picture of a floppy disk here. Click Save Toolpaths and output all visible toolpaths to one file. Now this box is checked and it should be. However, it says I have an error. It says both, both use tool number one, but the geometry of the tools are different. So I've got two toolpaths here and it's saying that I've labeled both the tools as tool one, but they are different tools. So I'm gonna have to close out of this and I will have to edit one of these and change the tool number so that they're different. I'm going to go into the pocket, click edit, and now it's talking about these two tools. I've got a V-bit and I've got an end mill. So if I edit the end mill, we'll change it to tool number two and click OK and we'll just check the V-bit. That's tool number one, so we're good. So now if we click calculate it's going to do the same thing, calculate it for us, close out of that. Now when we hit save toolpath, it's okay. All right, so there's here's the tool numbers right here. The end mill is tool number two, the v-carve is tool number one. All right, then we need to pick a post processor. This is a really important part that's easily overlooked. The post processor is just the software or the way that it converts our file into g-code that the machine reads. G-code is pretty general, however, each machine reads it just a little bit different. So we need to make sure it converts it to the G-code that is made for our machine. Otherwise, we can get some funny, funny things happening that we don't want. So on our post processor, you need to click on the drop-down area. And a lot of times it's already selected because of people that went before you, but you need to select legacy three axis CV arcs in inches. There is a metric version, you need to select the inch version. And if that's all correct, then we can click save toolpaths to file. I'm gonna name this elk landscape. And save it somewhere that I can find. Right, click save and there you are we've got now if you pull that file up go into my documents elk landscape if you pull that file up all you're gonna get is text it's a text file and this is G code this is what the machine reads so it has converted our design that we made in Aspire into something that the machine can read a text file it's created G code and it's going to read through each line of this G-code and it's going to carve that out for us.